to Adelaide's makeup tutorial channel and to my last Christmas look for 2016. Today I decided to do a Rudolph look for you and I definitely wanted to incorporate some glitter into this one. I think this is a great look because if you are doing a Christmas party where you're dressing up or something like that but you don't want to look ridiculous, this is still quite a pretty look. This eyeshadow type really helps to still make any look pretty. <laughs> so I'm going to jump in and show you how to do this Rudolph look right now. Let's get started. Okay, so firstly I'm taking my eye prime and I'm applying it over the entire eyelid and a little bit down towards the nose as well. And then I'm using my finger to blend that out. I'm then taking a light eyeshadow, it's a creamish but almost white coloured eyeshadow, and I'm applying that over that entire area that I've just put down the eye prime onto. I'm then taking a white eyeliner pencil and I'm applying this just above the crease line of my eyelid and I'm extending it down towards my nose and also flicking it out on the outer corner. I'm then also taking it underneath the eye as well and kind of following the shape that I've just drawn above the eye. Now I'm taking a dark brown eyeshadow onto an angled brush and I'm following that white line that I've just drawn above the crease line. And then I'm taking a blending brush and just very slightly blending it out and then I'm going back over that line. I'm not adding any extra product onto that brush that I've just used. I'm just using what's left on it and just making that line slightly darker so it's a little bit more defined. Now I'm taking a white face paint onto a small brush. And I'm applying that over the entire eyelid area underneath that cut crease line. And you can also use this white face paint to neaten up that line if it's not completely perfect. I'm also taking that white face paint underneath the eye as well, following that line that we drew on previously. Then going back in with that white eyeliner pencil, I'm applying that to my lower waterline. Then going in with a black liquid eyeliner, I'm applying this on the top lash line and ending it in a nice long flick. And then going in with a slightly lighter brown eyeshadow than the one that I used above the crease line, I'm applying it underneath the lower white line underneath my eye. I hope that makes sense. I'm then applying black mascara to my top lashes and also on the outer corner of my bottom lashes. Now I'm taking some lashes from Model Rock along with my Ardell lash glue and I'm applying these onto my top lash line. These particular lashes are very doe-eyed and sweet looking. I will leave details of all the products I'm using in the description box down below if you want to check any of them out. Okay, now moving away from the eyes and onto the contouring and this is a heavy contour. This is not meant to look natural by any means. So I'm taking my Shade and Light Contour Palette from Kat Von D. And I'm taking this onto a nice small fluffy brush. I'm taking the darkest shade of the contour colours and I'm applying it down either side of my nose. I'm using the fluffy side of this brush to start off with and then I'm flipping it over and using the thin side. And just getting a really nice defined line down either side of my nose. Still using that super dark colour and back onto the fluffy side of the brush, I'm applying a very dark line to the underneath of my cheekbones. I'm also applying this colour underneath my jawline just to get a nice defined jaw. And then taking a larger brush, I'm taking the medium contour colour and applying it to the tops of my cheekbones. And also blending down that colour onto my neck. Still using that larger brush, I'm also applying the darkest colour around the top of my forehead. I'm then taking the middle highlight colour and I'm applying it on that lower part of my forehead as well as down my nose. On the tops of my cheekbones, a little bit on my chin and underneath the cheekbones as well. Okay, now taking any medium sized makeup brush and dipping the end of it into some water. And then into my white face paint. I'm applying little dots on the tops of my cheekbones on both sides and also on the middle of my forehead. Now onto our red nose because face it we can't be rude off without our little red nose. So I'm taking a thin makeup brush with some red eyeshadow and I'm drawing the outline of the circle onto the tip of the nose. I'm drawing a very small circle but you can make it as big as you would like. And then I'm filling in that circle with the red eyeshadow as well. Once I've done that I'm taking my Glitz Fix and applying it over that entire red section. My Glitz Fix did have a little bit of blue glitter still stuck on it from last time I used it, but that will get covered up so we don't need to worry about that. Okay, and now I'm taking my loose red glitter onto a small makeup brush and it's best to lean over as you do this part so that you don't get covered in glitter and just tapping it over that entire section that we've just put the Glitz Fix onto. It's good to do a couple of layers so that it's really nice and red and glittery and opaque. Then taking a black face paint on a very thin brush, I'm applying a line from the tip of my nose down to my lips and then filling in the top lip with that black face paint as well. And lastly, I'm applying a little bit of shimmery highlight over the top of the lower section of my forehead, down my nose, a little bit on my chin and the tops of my cheekbones.
pleated Rudolph reindeer makeup look. If you don't want to make it Rudolph, all you need to do is change the nose to black and you could still put glitter over the top of a black nose. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here if you're not already. You can hit the little red subscribe button underneath this video. I hope all of you have had an amazing 2016. I will see you probably one more time before the end of the year, but have an amazing Christmas. As always, thank you so much for watching. See you all for the next tutorial. Bye, analyzers. Merry Christmas.